Alrighty, what's going on, you guys? I'm back today with another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare caught. Oh my gosh, if I don't get these intros down, I'm gonna be upset. I just had Infinite Warfare. I haven't played that game. I didn't get a hit mark. I don't even know shot. how long. Maybe two weeks. I don't know. And you might hear some voices in the background. If you do, don't worry about it. It's just from whenever I recorded this, I was talking uh, during the game and all that stuff. So that's that's why you hear stuff in the background. So don't worry about that. But um, anyway, so I uh, I may have failed. If you guys don't remember, I told you yesterday that I was going to be taking a little bit of a test. And uh, I was a little worried about it. You know, two days ago, I was feeling good about it. And then yesterday, it got a little bit more difficult, it seemed. And then out of nowhere, just, I was gone. Like, it was out of my brain. I don't know what happened. And I believe this is a 50-plus gameplay, by the way, Yo, for those of you who may be wondering, what like, heck? what the gameplay is. I literally get a chopper out of nowhere. I don't even know, like, how I got it. I literally was just playing and then i respond back in and boom i had a chopper so it was pretty sick uh, but yeah i do really really good i'm pretty sure i got like a 50 actually i don't think i got a 50 plus maybe a 60 i don't i really don't remember i know it was like an even like number like right on the dot or something like that but i go absolutely off in this game so it was pretty fun it was a fun game though uh, whenever you do good and call it in a uh, modern warfare remastered at least it, it just feels amazing, especially with a sniper. You're just, like, hitting all your shots and all that stuff. You literally feel like a god. It is the most fun thing ever. And, yes, I do have my colorblind mode on. I had a comment about that yesterday. It was actually one of my friends who commented it, of course. And I do have colorblind mode on. And I have it on because, if you guys didn't know this, it's actually, like, I guess a known fact, I guess you could say, or whatever. Having colorblind mode on actually does, like, it, it allows you to see people better. Because... You know, these maps have really good hiding spots. People can just, like, sit in the back of the map and you won't be able to see a single thing. But with colorblind mode on, you can actually see a lot easier. So, that's why I have colorblind mode on. Because I can just see people easier. Especially whenever I'm sniping and I really want to, uh... And I really want to yeah, be able to, like, snipe people from a too. distance and really just, you know, get the kill or whatever. This is literally the easiest way to do it. So, that's why I have colorblind mode on. So, don't be hating on colorblind mode I might take it off for live commentaries, that would make sense, because I realize that it does look really, really weird on over videos and all that stuff, so for live commentaries, I may take off colorblind mode, because it doesn't really matter that much, and look at this, I have another helicopter, like, I don't even know how I get all these helicopters, I just go off in this game, and yes, I am getting drag scopes and hard scopes the majority of the time, probably the whole time, and I, I, I do quick scope in this game, it's just... On this map where you have like snipers everywhere and they're all in the back of their spawn like sniping like hard scoping you it's a little difficult to uh, quick scope every single kill and I'm not Pomage I'm not Sprat I'm not phase blue okay so let's let's not judge all right let's not judge speaking of phase blue actually not me but my friend actually gets in a lobby with phase blue I think he's he said he got in one twice I don't know if it's actually if it's, if it was actually two times or if he was just like messing with me or whatever. I know for a fact though he got in a lobby with him once because um, two of my friends are actually in the lobby, Jacob and Drew, and they were uh, sitting there talking and they were like, uh, Jacob, my friend, was like, this oh boo God, guy keeps killing me, and I was like, boo, that's a weird name, okay, whatever. And uh, so I kept like going on with my business. I wasn't even playing. I think I was like on my phone or something like that, just like sitting on the mic. And he kept saying, yo, this boo guy is freaking annoying. And then my friend Drew was like. Yeah, this boo guy is freaking annoying. My god, he's amazing at sniping, though. And I was like, I was like, boo. And I was like, what's his name? And he said, boo oh underscore god. mate. And I said, are you sure it's not blue oh mate? God. And they looked, and it was blue mate. And if you don't know who Phase Blue is, he's uh, he's like one of the younger Phase members. Maybe the youngest Phase member. I really don't know um, like who the youngest is. But Phase Blue used to be the youngest Phase member. I know that for a fact. Um, so, it's pretty... It's pretty crazy. Uh, Blue is an amazing sniper. He, my friend uh, Drew said that he hit, I think, two clips in one game that he was in with him. Another clip in another game. And then the second time he got into a lobby with him, supposedly, he hit, um, I think he hit another clip. It was like a five on screen or like a four man headshot or something like that. It was So, like, Blue goes off. Blue is absolutely insane. It's uh, B-L-O-O -O underscore M-8, for those of you who are wondering. Uh, so, yeah, he's a... Uh, He's a phase member. He doesn't live in the phase house. A lot of phase members actually don't live in the phase house. But he is a phase member. And he's probably one of the most popular phase members that don't actually live in the phase house. 
Uh, because, you know, generally the faith members who don't live in the faith house have, like, 300k or something like that. Uh, but blue has, like, 56k, I believe, so... Or 56k, 560k, or, or around that. So, blue is probably, like, one of the biggest phase members that are, like, that don't live in the phase house. Besides Sprat. Sprat's pretty big. Sprat is also in phase, but he lives in the UK, so that's definitely why, um, that's definitely why he's not in the phase house. Right now, in the, in the background, it just made me think, we're talking about, like, our favorite maps ever in Call of Duty. So, question, what are you guys' favorite map ever in Call of Duty? One map any call of duty game it can be the very first call of duty it can be the most recent call of duty what is your favorite map ever yeah, um i just said about, standoff uh, and that is still true today which this was literally filmed last weekend but anyways uh, what's it called definitely about? standoff for me i enjoyed standoff i played a lot of standoff oh, yeah. i actually I like first. i grinded standoff first whenever uh what, what was it called outlaw or something like that it was a it was a map that was a remake of standoff in black ops 3 i'm sure if you guys like were there for my streams and all that stuff you know what map i'm talking about but they made it for they remade standoff for black ops 3 and it was still such a good map like standoff is literally one of or definitely my favorite map ever um and if you don't remember it's for, standoff is from black ops 2 it's the map it's hard to explain uh yeah it is really 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 hard to explain it's basically like a little town and there's like two tanks on either side or whatever and i, don't, I really don't know how to explain it but it was really, uh, it was a really fun map, so, I just realized I've said really, like, f 50 times, probably, so I need to stop that. I have this, um, repetitive stage in my life all the time where I say a one word so much. For example, you know, the, like, the phrase, you know, I said that for my first, like, three or four YouTube videos that I ever made, I swear I said that at least 15 times in like each video it was insane yeah, um, i would literally say you plus. know after everything that I, like i'm trying to get my point across to you like um yeah like call of duty yeah, actually is a really good game you know game like i would game. literally say you know all the time and speaking so of literally like during streams um during black ops 3 i would say literally yeah, yeah. not literally i would say literally and that's all i would say like are you literally kidding me right now i said it all the time and i think it's really because i watched leafy so much and right here i think i got a split quad oh my god I maybe a split a triple i don't know yeah i just said oh my god i just got a quad so i got a split triple um i was going off in this whole entire game and i know triple's not a feed which is why i'm not freaking out about it or anything but still not bad i'm literally just running around with a sniper i realize a lot of other people are sniping but these guys are straight trash they're garbo these guys suck so um uh, yeah, I was kind of destroying these kids at this point. Uh, I think I had the Barret, but I didn't use it because I was trying to get the M40 gold. As you can see, I had like digital urban camo on or something like that. I don't even remember I don't, what it's called really. But now I do have a gold M40 A3 and I'm super close to a gold Barret. But I haven't been playing recently that much, so that's probably why I don't have a gold right, Barret. That'd be the exact reason actually why I don't have a gold Barret. But that gun right there, the Commander Deagle, I've already talked about it in like two of my videos. It is literally so nice. I love it. Uh... But, yeah, just, uh, just thought I'd let you guys know. I realized that I'm titling this video uh, that I failed to test, and I realized I literally talked for m maybe two minutes, not even, no, no, that's way too much. Maybe 30 seconds about how I failed to test, which I think is pretty funny. It wasn't a test, it was a quiz, so don't, don't judge me too much. It was a quiz, not a test. Um, oh, another update. I'm getting really used to my glasses now. Like, I can sit here and play video games. I can be in school. Like, I literally forget they're on my face. And I and I was told that's going to happen. And it did happen, of course. Uh, so, it's pretty cool. I'm down. Um, I don't want to wear glasses all the time, though. Like, I'm going to be the type of person where I can wear glasses sometimes, but I'm not going to need contacts. So, I'm pretty lucky to do that. But, it is coming to an end. The game is about to end soon. I don't think I pulled the scoreboard up, but I do get, like, 50 kills in total. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy, remember to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, uh, and you could be guys, have a great rest of your day. Um, Peace out. ACOG. You aim if you're not, if you're not good with quickscoping, ACOG is definitely the way to go. What are you talking about? Because it's a lot easier to quickscope with ACOG. Oh, yeah, yeah.